everyone. Thanks for joining. We should be here today to talk about uh, Microsoft To Do. So uh, this is a fairly new program um, that's uh, new to Microsoft, I should say. Um, and it's a great little list maker. So uh, I've used a, a few of the different project management tools. And this is definitely not a project management tool per se, um, but I love lists. And uh, <laughs> I, I like the their approach to, to lists. So we wanted to share it with you. Uh, please let me if you're having any problems hearing me or seeing the screen, I am sharing right now just a, a, a blue slide that shows the uh, Simplex IT kind of splash page. Um, and then I'll switch over to the Microsoft to-do here now for the demo. Um, while I'm switching over, I just wanted to say that um, Microsoft to-do is available um, from, the, uh, uh, from the App Store for your mobile phone. Um, I Googled it and just downloaded it right from uh, Microsoft. Um, on my computer, so it's available a couple different ways depending on how you want to use it. Um, should look something like that if you're ready to download it. Um, it is free. I didn't have to pay anything for it um, on my mobile device or my computer. Um, and I don't think that it, that had anything to do with my Office 365 uh, subscription, so um, it should be free. Um, and here is Office, or I'm sorry, here is uh, Microsoft To Do. So. Right, um, right off the bat, you see over on the left-hand side, you see basically your lists. Um, and these are all of the lists that I have created hypothetically, you know, for this demo. Um, so the, the first one is my day, and we'll come back to that in just a minute. Um, next you have to do, and then you have, um, and these are canned, these come with uh, Microsoft to do. Um, and then these are the two that I added on my own. So I added one um, for vacation prep and then one for a summer picnic. Um, if you want to add a new list, you just click on the new list button down at the bottom and it adds a new list and you can name it whatever you'd like. Um, so we'll say, uh, how about kitchen remodel? Oops. <clears throat> and then if you wanted to add items to your list, um, you just click on the little plus sign in the area over to the right. So let me show you what some look like. Um, right now, if I click on vacation prep, you'll see I've added a few items in my vacation prep list. Um, if I forgot one and wanted to add another one, I can click on the little plus sign and then type in what my, um, what my new item is. So let's say I want to uh, research activities. And then I add that to my list. So pretty straightforward, nothing. Um, uh, too surprising here. <laughs> um, in addition to adding items to the list, uh, you can also sort them in a variety of ways. So if I click on the sort button in the top right, um, I can sort by alpha. Uh, I can sort alphabetically. I can sort by due date, by the date it was created, or if it was added to my day. And we'll come back to my day in just a moment. Um, and here I have my little ellipsis button that gives me um, some more options. So I can rename my list. Um, I can show completed to-dos. So once they're done, uh, by default they're hidden, but you can bring them back. Um, and then of course you can change your theme if you wanted to change the color um, of the uh, splash up here at the top. Okay. Now if you wanted to add additional information to any one of these, um, Oh, you can uh, double click on them and then you can have it remind you or you can add a due date as well as a personal note. So in my note, I could say something like, um, you know, print hotel confirmation. I can't type today. And car rental confirmation. So if you wanted to add additional information to that uh, to-do, um, you can add a, a due date to it. So let's say I'm going to, I want to do it tomorrow. Um, if it wasn't tomorrow, you can come down all the way down to the bottom and choose pick a date. So it's kind of nice. You can choose today, tomorrow, next week sometime, or a specific date. So if I click on pick a date, then yeah, I want to do it um, maybe on the 26th. I select June 26th and I can click save. And now I've got a due date on the 26th. And I can set up a reminder to remind me um, maybe next week that I want to do that. Just click Save. 
Now, what's really nice about um, To Do that I, I found I really like, and I don't see this in a lot of other uh, list tools, and, and I've tried a lot of them, um, is you can you can move um, To Dos from one list to another. Um, so let's just say, you know, hypothetically, I want to um, research. I want to move my last one, research activities, to my summer picnic list over there on the left. I can just click and drag that up to my summer picnic. Notice it changed from five to six, and now if I click on summer picnic, I have research activities here. Okay. So I was thinking how I could use this in in real life in the office and. And uh, there's a lot of times where we're all doing a number of different tasks. Um, and they're all listed in different lists. Um, but we want to be able to see who's doing what. So I was thinking, well, if we had a list for maybe a marketing campaign we were doing, a list of things for our summer picnic, actually, <laughs> um, and so on, then we could also have a list for each person. So, so maybe I could start pulling each item from these lists and add it to a list for each person. So I can say, okay, this is, you know, this is Patty's list. And, and I probably wouldn't do one for myself. I'll show you why in a minute. Um, but I might do one for other people so I can keep it straight who's doing what. Um, so maybe here for my summer picnic, I want Kayla to plan the menu. And I want her to do the invitations. So I'm just going to drag those to her list. So it's nice that you can kind of keep a, an overall list of things that you have to do and then further break it down by moving them around. I think that's what makes to do um, a little bit different, at least from some of the tools that I've seen. The reason I say that I won't do one for myself is because of this My Day feature that we haven't yet talked about. <laughs> so My Day is really neat. I like this, and again, a little different than what I've seen in some of the other tools. Uh, my Day is just what I'm doing today, as you might have <laughs> guessed from the title. Um, but it's easy to add things to my day. So here is my to-do list. This is everything that I want to do. I've got seven things I want to do. Okay. But each day, you can actually say you can create your day of, of what you want to do that day. So here um, I added the event calendar. That's in my day. And hosting the webinar, <laughs> that's in my day. Um, here if I wanted to uh, install some software, I can drag that up to my day. And these are, again, everything that I want to do today. And then it's nice also, I can click on this little light bulb over on the right-hand side. If I didn't have anything to do today, <laughs> uh, I can click on Suggestions, and that'll give me options of things that I need to do. So these are basically just um, items from my other lists. And if I click More, I'll see more and so on. So here um, I can say, yep, I want to pack my suitcase. Um, I'm going to do that today. I just clicked on the little plus sign over on the right hand side. Uh, I want to shop for a new hat. And let's see what else am I in the mood to do today. Um, I feel like shopping for food and drinks while I'm picking out my hat. <laughs> so I clicked on the little plus sign to add that to my day. And you'll notice that my day up here, the number right next to it keeps getting larger and larger. I'm at six um, items now. So I can click my day to view my day. It looks like it's loading here. So to do is everything that I want to do. <clears throat> and then my day is everything I want to do today. Excuse me. And then you can pick and choose um, what you want to drag over. Now, if there's something that doesn't get done today, um, you can always move that to the next day. Um, but I've been trying to use this, and I think it, it's nice, kind of gives us an idea of, of a place to store everything, and then sometimes that gets overwhelming. So um, a place where you can view um, just the items that you want to do in one day uh, is great. All right. The other nice thing, too, that I wanted to mention, it's a little bit hard to show in a webinar. Um, but I did just want to mention that there are other tools available that go along with to do or, or other versions of it, I should say. So I have it right now showing on my computer at my desk. Um, I also downloaded the app to my phone. I have an iPhone. And I downloaded the app through the App Store. 
Um, you can do this as well for Android. Um, and it's, it syncs back and forth, so any changes that I make to um, my computer version, it shows up on my phone, which I love. Um, and it's pretty much the same information, just looks a little bit different, obviously, because of the, the different screen size. Um, to add items to your to-do, let's just talk about that. Uh, it's the same way to add items to your new, uh, to add items to your list. So just hit the bottom, you just click add new to-do. And that's it. Um, add new to-do, I will say, um, I don't know, email Joe. <laughs> uh, and then again, if I wanted to do that today, I can either drag it up to my day or I can click on Email Joe, and I can add the uh, reminder or the due date. And then right here, I have the My Add to My Day button as well. So I can click Add to My Day. And then when you're in My Day, this is where you can start checking them off. So, yep, I did that. I installed the software. I haven't packed my suitcase or shopped yet, uh, but I did Email Joe. Let's say. So I can start start checking things off the list, which is the best part about creating a list, is checking everything off. <laughs> All right, that's about it for Microsoft To Do. Uh, like I said, I just did a Google search for Microsoft To Do, um, and it took me to uh, the screen that I showed you before. Let me show you again. My mouse just froze. Um, oh, maybe I closed it. I think I did. Uh, sorry about that. So if you, um, I closed the screen of where I, I did the search and downloaded it, but if you just do a search, it'll pop you over to the Microsoft Store and you can download it. Um, like I said, I believe that it is free. Um, so yeah, I hope you have a chance to, to use it and let me know what you think of it or if you have another tool that you like even better than this one or if you're looking at this one, like, oh gosh, I wish it did this or that. Um, let me know what tool you're using because I'm, I probably have three or four <laughs> different list tools on my, um, on my phone and I'm always looking for a good one. So I love a good project management tool but sometimes it's nice to um, just have those uh, quick and easy tools like this to do or um, uh, Microsoft Planner, you know, those are those are quick and easy, not, not necessarily project-based. So um, before we hop off, do we have any questions? Um, this was a kind of a fun little topic to do. Uh, if you have any questions, just type them in the chat window. Um, remember, you can always email me um, after the fact. So after we hang up, um, there's my email address. I'll put it on the screen for you. Um, shoot me an email. Like I said, if you have another tool that you use, let me know. I, I'm always looking for a good list tool. And I don't see any questions coming in, so we'll go ahead and wrap it up. Thank you for joining, and hopefully we'll see you next month. Bob is going to do an Office uh, 365 uh, OneDrive admin uh, webinar next month. Um, so hopefully we'll see you for that. All right. Thanks, everyone. Thanks for joining. Bye.